Hi, I'm Ross Yendel, CEO of STG Global. Today, we're going to be doing a pre-start and how to operate one of our world-class water trucks. With all of our water trucks, they're all operated in the same fashion. So today we're going to take you through a 19,000 litre poly tank, but all of our water trucks, as I say, are the same. So all the operations will be the same. So whether you've got a WT 8,000, 13,000, 18,000, or one of our poly tanks, they'll all operate and they'll all have the same pre-start. When I do a pre-start on a vehicle, I always like to start with the truck. So obviously every truck manufacturer will have different operating procedures and operation manuals. So what you should do is go into the cab of the truck, find the operator's manual and refer to the operation and maintenance manual there. So we'll jump in and have a look. Generally, the operator's manual will always be in the top console. It'll be a paperback version. So I'll just jump up now. We'll grab that and we'll have a look and show you a few things we need to do on the truck. Obviously, as you can see, it's a fairly thick manual. So today we'll just take you through the basics of what we believe you should do as a minimum. Um, on a daily pre-start. So with the truck, um, generally I like to start at the front of the truck. Um, we'll always start at the front windscreen and have a look at the condition of that, make sure there's no cracks or obstructions that are gonna get in the visibility of the operator. And so as we'll have a look at the front window, this one's obviously a brand new truck, it all looks good, but if you've ever got a crack in the screen or anything that's gonna visually impair you, I suggest obviously pulling the truck up and getting that replaced. When we look at the side of the truck, start with the mirrors, always making sure that they're clean, they've got no cracks, so we can visually see what's going on out the back of the truck when we're operating it, making sure the windows are nice and clean. One of the huge things is obviously massive safety issue. If we're operating a water truck, we know they go off site, they go across big, big rocks. Um, they can get slices in the tires, so we need to make sure our tires are in really good condition. As you can see, the tread, always check the tread, check the side walls so that they haven't been sliced with a rock or anything like that because um, that's going to make us have a safe day ahead. As we get to the back of the cab, we can see there's e-stop here, emergency stop. So what we'll do shortly is we'll start the truck up and we'll just do a test and make sure that e-stop is operational. So we'll just start the truck up and do a quick check on the uh, e-stop. <laughs> As we can see, that just shut the engine down. So if we ever have an emergency, someone needs to come up and press that, we know it's operational. So that's something that needs to be checked daily. Now, I always like to work in a clockwise rotation around the vehicle when I'm doing my daily pre-starts. We can look down at the wheels here and we can see this one's got wheel nut indicators. These wheel nut indicators have been set so they're pointing each other. So we can quickly visually see if there's been any movement. If you see a wheel nut indicator at a 90 degree angle here, you know, it's something we need to check. That obviously means that that wheel nut could have turned and could be coming loose. So depending on which way the wheel nut indicators are set up, just make sure on a daily basis you're checking these to make sure the wheel nuts haven't loosened off. Obviously we don't want a wheel coming off. And just daily things we want to be looking at is just, you know, are our clamps tight? You know, are all these things tight? Are they ready for work for the day? Is there any bolts going to come loose that could fly off? Obviously these trucks are out on sites where they vibrate a lot. They're in harsh working conditions, so we just want to make sure that everything visually looks tight. You know, just put your hands up here, have a feel, check if everything looks good. Obviously, this one's a new build. It's looking really good. Same thing with our wiring. You know, we, we don't want to have a short out anywhere. We want to make sure our wiring's all secure. Does it look firm? Does it look tight? Does it look like it's in the right position? Again, this one looks great, so we can move forward from here. Again, looking at our plastic guards, simple things like, you know, just having a touch of feel here, just making sure everything looks secure. You know, is the guard in a good operating condition, you know, or has it had a tear put in it? Does it need replacing things like this? Obviously, as we're driving along roads, these have been out on muddy sites, you know, rocks can flick up, that type of thing. So we just want to make sure our guards are all in good condition. Next thing, obviously, we've got, this one's got the signage boards, the standard STG sign boards, which are on every poly tank. So obviously these are a um, fiberglass plastic um, panel that are put on here. So again, we just want to make sure all these bolts are secure, you know, make sure that we come up, give them a good pull, make sure none of these bolts have come loose, because again, we don't want this board flying off in harsh conditions, vibrations, things over time become loose. So on a daily check, you know, just come here, check visually our side lights, 
Obviously our air tanks uh, for the truck, they supply the air for the brakes and a lot of the functions within the water truck. So on a daily basis, we're meant to empty these tanks out. How we do that, obviously we want to get any fluid that's in there because we don't want fluid getting through to our air switches. So we just give these a pull, which will make any water that come out that's there. As we can see, there's no water coming out of there. It's all air, which is fine. So these tanks at the moment have any haven't got any water which is a great thing now coming back towards the back of the truck again tires are a huge thing let's make sure all our tires are right checking our guards are they tight secure we don't want to be spraying mud up or rocks up onto other people's vehicles so making sure our mud flaps are all secure taking a look at the bolts does everything look secure okay moving to the back of the truck this is where all the the action happens to be honest so this is where we want to spend a fair bit of time just checking out our spray heads checking out that everything's ready for the day's work obviously we've got the brackets here that hold the tank down so again we're out in rough conditions let's just have a daily check to make sure all the nuts are secure these are nylock nuts so they shouldn't come undone but have a quick visual make sure that they're not wobbling around if they're not wobbling that means they're still tight having a look at the bolts here we can do that all along the frame just to check that the tank's really tight and secure. As we're at the back of the vehicle, obviously we can check the condition of our hose. This will get pulled out onto the ground. Is it in good condition? Um, making sure our nozzle's here, making sure as we daily start our, our day's work that the chain's secure here on this side. So obviously if this tries to unravel itself, that it's all chained and secure. So again, we don't want to be driving along the road with this wound out out the back. So just daily checks, making sure all our chains are on our caps and these are all secure. So these are backups to make sure that nothing falls off on the road. And these are all standard features on an SDG water truck. So check out that that's all secure, then we won't harm anyone. Same thing down here, there's a lot of water pressure goes through these tanks. So we just wanna make sure our hose clamps are secure, make sure our hose is secure, make sure our taps are turned off or in the position that we want them at. Um, this one's here is obviously a high pressure point at the back, so we want the cap on, but we also want this in a closed position to start the day's work if we're not using it. Other things we can check is are all our safety signs, you know, in good condition? You know, we've obviously been out on site the day before, potentially we've had a lot of dust, we've been putting out a lot of dust suppression or whatever we've been doing, which tends to put a lot of dust over the back of the truck. So this is a brand new clean truck, but if you've been out on site for a day's work, and there's all dust over it. Obviously we need the people behind us to be able to see this signage. So, you know, grab a rag, just give it a quick wipe, make sure our tail lights are all clean. So the people behind us, when they're coming up to us, can see what's going on. Cause this is something that is regular on a water truck. Obviously water spraying out the back, dust is coming up, it's sticking. So it's just a daily requirement to make sure that the visibility on all these functions is right for everyone. This vehicle's fitted and all STG products are sent out with a safety sticker kit on them. So just have a look around your truck during the day when you do your pre-start, just make sure all the stickers are there and we're abiding to buy what they say. So we're at the back of the truck, obviously still where all the water pressure comes through. So we wanna look at all of our pipe work. Again, is all of our pipe work secure? You know, is anything loose? Our bracketry, you know, our plumbing, does everything look good? They're the things we want to be checking. Now we want to look up at the top of the truck. So obviously on this standard STG model, we've always got three sprays up the back. We've got the big center one up in the middle here. So that'll put out a lot of water flow. And then we've got the two smaller sprays either side. So obviously they're all individually controlled in the cab. So each morning we just want to have a look up there, make sure the air lines look like they're secure into the spray heads, make sure the brackets and all the nuts and bolts look like they're tight. Obviously, as we can see the slits up in the top of the spray heads, we want to check if there's been any rocks caught in there or anything that's going to obstruct the sprays. Part of the daily pre-start is we want to check the condition of our flashing light up the top. As we can see, it's in very good condition. We just want to make sure it hasn't been hit by anything. It's got no cracks. It looks like it's in good condition. Same with our top lights. Again, we want to see if there's any dirt or debris over the top of them, because that's what the people behind us, they need to see when we're braking. They need to see the flashing lights. Obviously, another thing we can look at on a daily basis is this hose reel. As we can see, this hose reel's got some grease in there. That's obviously a gear drive. So, you know, probably once a week, we need to be just putting a little bit of grease on that um, gear drive to make sure it's lubricated. Okay, looking down at the, this one's got a pressurized dribble bar. So standard, it comes with two drop bars. This client's decided to have a dribble bar 
Um, obviously, if we're filling off a dam and things like that, we know rocks can get into the tank. Obviously, we've got these small jetter heads. So on a daily basis, we just want to come down and just see if there's any rocks being obstructed in there. If we need to, we can just undo these heads and get the rocks out so we get a nice even spray. So again, if this gets filled up with a lot of debris or rocks or that type of thing and we want to give it a good flush out, standard on the STG unit, we've got a roll groove clamp on the end here where we can just pull that clamp off um, and we can actually flush that hole dribble bar out to make sure all the rocks and debris are out of there. So that's a great feature on the STG product. Now walking around to the passenger side, same thing. We just want to check out the boards, make sure these are really secure, make sure all of our bolts are in and they're secured. They look like they're tight. Same thing, checking our guards out, looking at our tires, having a quick look at our suspension. Does the suspension look good? Look at the springs in there. Is there any cracks? Is there anything going on? We want to do that all around the truck, just checking out the suspension, the wheels and the tyres. Does everything look secure? Again, down the back here, our wheel nut indicators are all in the right positions. Coming up to the front of the truck, this is where we actually do the hydrant fill from. So we want to check that our chains are secure. Again, if we end up leaving this cap down loose or something, we've always got that chain as a secure point that it won't fall off onto the road or into the way of any oncoming traffic. So um, everything looks nice and tight and secure down here. While we're having a look, let's check out a fuel tank, make sure it's in good condition. Have a quick look under the truck. Is there any leaks around that fuel tank? This one looks good, obviously, but always have a look. Obviously, we're working off-road. There's big rocks getting flung up, making sure that you know our tanks aren't cracked and they're in good condition so again this one looks great moving forward to our front guards again these are plastic guards checking our bolts are all secure our mud flaps are in position um, our side lights are looking good um, moving up here this is the self point on the stg product all of our steel and our poly tanks all have the same self fill in the same position so if we're filling off a dam this is obviously the point that we're doing it at um, so again, just checking our chains are tight, making sure our valves are in the right position, making sure all the bolts are tight, making sure everything's secure on this self-fill fill point. The other thing we can do while we're up at the front here is obviously we can have a look in here. This is a spring-loaded tank that STG's got, so we stop any chassis cracking. So we've got spring-mounted bolts here. So again, we want to make sure there's a gap in between them springs so they've got some flex in them, making sure the the nylon bolt nuts are tight, making sure that area is really secure because that obviously holds our tank down. And then looking down to these pipes which go down to the pump, just making sure all our bracketry is really tight, our clamps are tight. This truck that we're looking at here is fitted with a rollover protection system for uh, mining in Australia and most mining sites around the world. Um, so when we look on this ROPS, this one's fitted with a nine kilo fire extinguisher. So again, just on a daily basis, we want to be checking that this fire extinguisher is in good condition if we need to use it. So just a quick look up at the, the gauge here, we can see the needles in the green. So that means this is fully charged and ready for operation. All STG's tanks fitted standard with the front sprays, the batter sprays. So again, just a quick visual look up there. Are the airlines on? Check if there's any rocks stuck in the slit, you know, which is going to obstruct the spray. So just having a quick visual up there just to make sure everything looks secure. As we can see, this one's fitted with the ROPS, rollover protection system. Just checking up on top that the flashing light's in, a, in good condition, ready for the day's work. You can refer back to the operator's manual within the book from the, the chassis manufacturer to see what they want done on a daily basis. Obviously, they'll all be a little bit different. Um, but what I'd do as a general is check the coolant levels daily, check the engine oil levels daily, this one's fitted with an Allison transmission, so we want to check the transmission daily, or if it's an automatic, we want to make sure we're checking all them vital fluid levels on a daily basis. Moving back down to the front again, checking our front tyres, making sure they're in good condition. So around the whole truck, we've done our tyre checks. As we know, these trucks are used in harsh environments. These trucks are built for road conditions. They're not really built for off-road. So. One thing we want to be doing daily is greasing all the grease points. As we know, they're shaking, they're rattling. Um, we want to make sure we've got enough grease in these things so we get longevity out of all, all the parts and they're safe and secure for the working future of the vehicle. This truck's fitted with a three inch remote cannon. So part of our daily pre-start is we just want to look up there and have a visual look on this truck. 
Our steel tanks are fitted with handrails so you can actually get up there and you can have a closer look. But with this one, it, we can just look from down here. Let's have a look at the visual on the cannon. Does it look like it's been hit by anything? Does it need any maintenance? This one's obviously in very good condition, but just having a visual just to make sure, even from back here, we can see up at the bolts, that the bolts look secure and things like that. So this truck's fitted with a PDO driven water pump, which is actually underneath the truck. So it's driven off the transmission through a drive shaft straight back to the pump. So on a daily basis, we want to be getting under the truck and we want to be checking out that pump. Is there any water leaks coming out of it? Is it in good condition? Are all the clamps tight? So as you can see, it's an orange pump under there. Just get under there, have a quick look and make sure everything's tight and secure and ready for the day's work. The second option that we do on our water trucks is, uh, is either the direct drive version or the other version that we do is a hydraulic driven water pump. If we've got a hydraulic driven water pump, it's obviously going to have a hydraulic tank, it's going to have a lot of hoses, it's going to have a lot of valving and generally they'll be placed up on front of the truck. So things we want to do there on a daily basis is obviously if it's got a hydraulic tank, we want to check the hydraulic oil level, number one. We want to check all the hosing secure, not leaking. We want to check our valving's not leaking and just a good general look around to make sure it's in working condition and there's no leaks which will affect the environment. So as you can see, we've just done a basic walk around the outside of the truck just checking the vitals, checking the tyres, checking the oil levels, just checking all the bolts are secure, making sure all your safety chains are on. Um, so it's just a really quick visual, but these are the things that are going to make you have a safe and productive workday.